Madam Mayhem here, and this is the gear we use. We're going to have the rest of the guys show you what they use, but for me, myself, I've been using the Samson. I'm a huge fan of their Q8, so I have my backup one in case the wireless doesn't work. I got the one wired with the monster cables because I love monster cables. They're sturdy and reliable. And then I got the Q8 UH7 with the whole system, wireless. It's been doing wonders. And then, of course, my fancy ultimate support stand over here, which I deck out myself. I actually got to fix some of these here with the black roses. Um, I put on the black roses and vines myself, but the ultimate support stands um, have gotten me through so many tours already. And uh, we try to make sure to use as many of their stands, things like that, on stage as possible because they really get us through. So that's what we like to use here. And uh, sometimes I like to whip out that TC Helicon Voice Live Touch 2 as well. Um, and of course my in-ears, which are incredible ACS Customs when we can. Now I'm going to give you to my guys and they'll show you what else we use. Hey, hey I'm Billy Gray. and. Uh... This is the guitar I use for the tour with Madam Mayhem. We're talking DBZ Diamond Bolero. Great company from Houston, Texas. EMG pickups in the guitar. Okay, yeah, on the diamond, on the diamond guitar here, we have the rhythm and the, excuse me, the treble and the rhythm pickup. You got your selector up here. I'm usually a rhythm on the, uh, on the bridge pickup guy here. So, but I do use the neck pickup for some solo stuff. These are just volume and tone. I always keep them always up on 10. And uh, strings I use are DR strings. I use gauges 50, uh, 10 through 56, 56 being on the low because we use some low tunings. And, um, you know, pretty much that's the gist of my guitar setup. This is drop B. We got, we got B, F sharp, B, E, G sharp, C sharp. On my rig, since we're a run and gun band on this tour, I like to call it the low profile high octane. One half stack, one head, the head being a Laney Iron Heart, which I've used for years. I also play in a band called Fozzy with Chris Jericho. And uh, we've been using these for years. So, and then also the Splong cabinet has vintage 30 speakers in it, which I, they're a company out of North Carolina, which is awesome. They do great work with speakers and heads. My wireless, the Sennheiser Wireless had the thing since 20, let's see, 2004, and it's still a tank, not broke down once. And a simple pedal board using Boss Digital Delay, and a boutique company out of Georgia called Cast Engineering. It's a Texas Flood Overdrive, which I use for warmth, and the ever popular TC Electronics Polytune. And that pretty much rounds out my rig for the tour. And then also the DR strings I let you know about earlier. There they are right there. Okay, what I like about this head, I've been using them since uh, we got, I'm with a band called Fozzy, so we got the Laney deal back in 2013, okay? So what I like about this head is the, uh, the fact that it kind of sounds like a Marshall meets, say like a, um, say like a high gain amp like um, Bogner or, you know, even even high gain is like a Mesa Boogie, but still has the cleanliness of a Marshall in it, right? So, and it has three channels. I'm always on the lead channel here, right on the top. And basically, it's, it's dynamic crunch tone. Hey, my name's Gogi Rendell. Um, this is my Diamond Barchetta. Um, this is the main guitar I'm using on the tour. Kind of like stylistically with me, I, I do a lot of like, squeals and stuff so I bend on the on the on the trim a good bit and it's just a real comfortable guitar um, it's a company called Diamond um, I've been with them for five six years at this point they're just uh, really great guitars they feel awesome they got the Grover tuners they got the uh, you know the actual Floyd Rose it's not a license it's an actual Floyd Rose it's just really well made guitars they sound great they feel great EMG pickups um, and for my strings uh, Dean Markley has actually been with me the longest out of anybody that I'm endorsed by. And uh, I use the 1152 Blue Steels, tried and true. Been using them for as long as I can remember. And I just love them that they feel great, they last a long time. I don't have to change too terribly often with them and everything. They just sound awesome. They ring out really great, good sustain and everything. And I love them to death. And then I also have a Diamond Bolero backup that I use, but we're only using one guitar on this tour. 
Um, so, you know, got to be safe, though, just in case something happens and I get too crazy with it and I rip, so rip the string out, you mean, you got to have the backup going. So, yeah, that's my guitar. Me and Billy are switching off uh, on leads and depending on the song, but he's, he's definitely, I would say, the heavier lead player on this run. Um, I have a few, a few uh, couple of leads uh, on this one, but for the most part, I'm, I'm doing mostly rhythms on this one. And, and another reason I like these guitars is because they hold their tunes so well. And I'm not, I'm not a stand still and stare at your feet kind of player. Like I just beat the shit out of them all the time. So like it's, you know, um, so that's why I, I, it's just such a part of my style that I, like I got to have the Floyd Rose lockers. You know what I mean? Just because it's, I'm definitely going to knock it out of tune if I don't have it. So this is my rig. Um, I've been running this rig for a while, like several, several years, and it's just a workhorse. It's just a, just a powerhouse. Um, right here I got the uh, Diamond Phantom amp. Diamond makes, they're, they're hand-wired amps. They're made in the USA. Uh, a lot of times, like the Diamonds ship stock with, uh, with their, this all lights up, and uh, they ship stock with the green LEDs, and a lot of times people, they, they make another amp, which is actually a heavier amp called the Nitrox, and it comes with red LEDs. But when I had them um, send me this one, I had the red LEDs put in just because I really liked it a lot better. So sometimes people get confused thinking it's a Nitrox. The main reason I went with the Phantom is just because it's an overall rounder. Um, it, it covers more of a spectrum. It's not just, gah, gah, gah. you know, kind of like it's, it really just, you can dial in so many different tones with it and they're all clear. Like even the distorted tones are super clear. You get a lot of uh, definition out of your plan and everything. And the clean tones are just ridiculous out of them. I've been with this company for a while, absolutely love them to death. Great people that work there, Jeff and all the guys. Um, and then below it is the Spitfire 2. I don't actually run that during the show. It's just really more of a safety measure as a backup. Um, Furman Power running the uh, Line 6 um, Relay G90 wireless. Again, it's a tank. Never had a single problem with it ever. It's just an awesome wireless. There's never any distortion. I really love the cable tone feature. It really kind of adds a lot of um, shaping and texture to it. And then outside of that, um, I am running the TC Electronic G system for all my effects and amp switching. And I've been playing this bad boy for years as well. Um, I keep all my patches pretty standard across the board from, from top to bottom. I always do my B channel distortion, A channel distortion, lead tone with like a little bit of delay on it. Um, this will be like a, just a, another effect depending on what the song is using kind of thing. And then patch five will be my clean tone. It's super simple, man. You get up on stage, you run this Cat 5 right into there, you turn on your guitar and you play. And that's it. It's that simple. And that's, that's why I love this rig. It's just because it's just... Plug in once and let's throw it down. So I dig it. Hi, Dan. I'm Percy Tranov. I play bass for Man of Mayhem and Dirty Girls. Um, here's what I have here is uh, the Spectre MK5 model. Came out last year. Uh, specifically built for my Kroger uh, of uh, Nickelback. Um, maple body, passive electronics. Um, it's just, it plays very, very nice. Um, no bells or whistles. It's perfectly made, exactly what I need. The carved body. So, alongside with that, SIT strings sound great they're locking me down the gauges uh, vary from 125 down to uh, 45 uh, simply because uh, I don't need to wrestle while I play <laughs> so uh, I just like the whole feel of the strings um, and uh, it works out perfect for me so I'm sure it'll work out perfect for you my other Go to base is something that I had for quite a while. It's uh, older. That's a nice base. It's wonderful. It's so smooth. Oh, very smooth. Oh, that wood. <laughs> that wood, though. Oh, sorry. Anyway, this is very smooth and black and sleek. And you hear the sustain? Listen to the sustain. I just changed those strings. I had, I had to go have a bite to eat and it'll still be ringing. It's very, very impressive. Very impressive length on that wood. That's what I mean, you, you could have a good technique just sliding up and down. All right, sorry, I'll let That's you get back to the video. Okay. I like it though.
So NS5, um, NS, uh, NS2000, five string model. This is what it is. Um, active pickups. Um, it sounds amazing once again. Curved body lays down and it moves to your body. Once again, with those things, I use the SIP strings. And here's my light rig. Um, Mark Bass from A to Z. Can't go wrong. Um, I'm using Big Bang Head. Nice, small, punches 500 watts like a mule. And as for speakers, uh, I've chosen the New York 151 series, the Black series. Uh, they're, they sound great, and one of the primary reasons that sold it for me is because they're so light. New Demon magnets, can't go wrong. The only other things that I'm using uh, are the Line 6 wireless, and uh, my friend and old bandmate in the Black Sugar uh, introduced me to uh, the Pitch Factor. Um, on, a, on a song, I have to change the pitch. Hit, done, and that's it. Hi, I'm uh, Ryan Bennett. I am currently out playing drums with Madam Mayhem, and this is my kit I am rolling with on this tour. It is a uh, D Drum Reflex Powerhouse kit. Uh, the kick is a 24, uh, rack 13, two floors 16 and 18. I am a, uh, also a Sabian artist. Um, I play 14 inch AA Rock Hats. Uh, we got a 20 inch AX Explosion Crash. This is my favorite crash on the kit. Uh, then a 20 inch Stage Crash, a 19 inch AA. Uh, AAX Explosion Crash on the right side, and then a uh, 22 AA Rock Ride, and uh, the Chad Smith Signature 21 inch Holy China, that my favorite China they make. But um, yeah, I've been playing uh, Sabian Evans D Drum for years. Um, all companies take great care of me, love them to death, make the best equipment in the business. Uh, currently, I play. As far as Evan's heads go, got a G2 on the top of the snare, and a... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, Here's my where... drum tech, Rocky. Where's the other sticks? I can't tell you what I did with them. They're five Bs. They're five. <laughs> yeah, oh god, here comes the bus. So we did the drum kit design special so it would match with the gloves, with the hot pink and the spikes, and we made sure it was all matte, pretty black with the hot pink rims, and very spiky and dangerous. And uh, yeah, we will keep going. <laughs> we got EC2s, uh, clears on the top, uh, G1 clears on the bottoms of every tom. Uh, I think as far as uh, tone-wise, for this specific kit, it's uh, the, uh, the, for some reason, it kills, all the, it kills all those overtones that you get with a lot of kits. I started using them. At, I used G2s for a while. Love the sound, but the EC2s just kill like all the overtones and weird, you know, kind of makes it easier to tune, I guess. You know. Currently playing Promark 5B Rebounds. I uh, played 2Bs for a long time, but then I started messing up my wrist, so I uh, kind of switched, you know, back to the 5Bs, like the balance, uh, like the taper. They're the bad. Yeah, that's the setup. Mm -hmm.